Welcome back to the channel. I ordered a uh, cold air intake kit for the uh, 05 Ram 3500 with the 5.9 diesel. I don't know if you guys saw the short video I had from 70 miles an hour when I floored it. It had no get up and go. It wouldn't shift down, wouldn't spool the turbo. It was accelerating, but uh, not good enough. Going from a double lane in the left lane and the left lane closing in a mile, trying to get around a semi truck with a trailer on the back of this thing. It took all every bit of that mile and a half to get past that truck. So I was trying to get some top end oomph out of the thing. So I bought an S and B cold air intake. They're not cheap, so I hope it works. But this is a truck. Snow 5 Ram 3500 5.9 diesel. Stock air box. Yeah, I thought maybe it was the, uh, the restriction of the air filter, but this wasn't even activated at all. So I'm going to get rid of all this air restriction. And go with the S and B filter. But well, here's all the parts. It's got uh, here's the new air box. It's got a uh, clear plastic top, so you can see the filter down inside when it's all connected. This goes to the fender, I believe. This goes to the intake. But. Again, piece of crap. I got this charger. You can see the lights. One says green, one says red, but both of them went from 20% right to 1% when I turned the GoPro on. So I'm sorry about the video. I have to do it with my phone. But to do this, so far, what I've seen is you need a T5 or T20 torx bit, Phillips screwdriver, or a flathead, and a uh, 516 uh, driver, or a socket, like I got, or a flathead screwdriver. But in here, I've read and heard, or well, watched videos, of a silencer ring in the turbo. I'm not sure that I'm going to take it out yet. If it's easy enough, I will. If I have to bend stuff and break stuff, I'm probably not going to. I don't care about the whistle, but I just care about airflow and trying to get that top end power that these lack so much. Yeah, I've also read about these watch some videos on these and you can go to the aftermarket um, it probably does give you a little better airflow because it's a swooping loop instead of angles but i don't believe that it does everything that it claims to do so i don't want to spend the money on that quite yet the birds around here are relentless but yeah so try and enjoy the video if you want to watch it but uh i'm gonna have to video it with my phone and i'll uh, do it in segments because i can't hold my phone and uh record this stuff at the same time but enjoy what you can I also forgot to mention this kind of pain in the ass design that uh, Chrysler did. When changing the air filter, getting this box off, it's pretty tight with the air filter squished inside their sealed. Then you gotta deal with this. The overflow tube to the radiator is way in the way and it's just a pain in the butt. 
So I believe having this uh, top, sealed clear top on here, it's going to make everything a whole lot easier to clean or replace the filter. Got the top of the air box off and the air filter out. Now a couple weeks ago, I cleaned this out thinking that uh, the air filter was clogged. And that's why I wasn't getting the air and the power that I needed. This is in two weeks. This is what birds and mice do out here. It's not horrible and it, I don't think it's enough to clog a filter, but it gets pretty bad. This, I'm going to take this box out next. It's 10 millimeter up front. That's about as far as I've gotten. And it doesn't look like there's any more bolts inside. There's my turds though. It wasn't a fastener. Is that dang thing. <laughs> Rubber bushings as it slides into. And a cooler hose. Who knows? I might have a leak. But we'll see. Alright. Went ahead and took this canister thing out that's what's in there it's got to be restriction restricted pretty bad especially with all those holes in there it's got to like whirl around in there and stop your air it's, I don't get why they did this Maybe to cool, quiet it down or something. I don't know, but that's never going back on. And then I got this section, and it's supposed to, I guess, move the air straight into the turbo. But you'd think just having a smooth elbow there would be a whole lot better than adding things in there and restricting the flow. This doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, on to the next piece. Alright, it didn't take long. Got it out. But yeah. You'd think that just a smooth elbow would be better than that. But I'd imagine it's probably holding this thing from caving in on itself as well. That's never going back in there. <laughs> so now we got an open turbo. And that silver thing is the silencer, I guess. Silencer ring or something. There's supposed to be a snap ring, I think. The dark outside edge, I think that's a snap ring. And you gotta dig that out so the silencer ring will come out. So we'll see. See if I can do that without breaking stuff. If I start having troubles, I'm just gonna leave it in there because I don't really give a rip. Alright, I'd like to get an unboxing of this stuff, but holding my phone, it's just gonna be a pain in the butt. This is the new pipe. Mass sensor goes right into it. Okay, I just unwrapped everything. Here's the box. It's gigantic. It's got a hole in the bottom. This is a cap that covers that bottom. I do believe s &B makes a RAM air system that will connect to this bottom 
and then it comes out underneath your bumper. Now, I don't know if I, yeah, I'd have to take this off for it and it sticks down here or it sticks under the bumper or leave this on and it comes down here, but I, I didn't want to pay the extra hundred bucks for it, even though I think it would be beneficial to have this air, ram air, plus the air that comes through the fender. I think it would work great. I think SMB did uh, an awesome job constructing all this and getting it all together and work correctly. Here's the plastic cover. It goes on there one way or another. <laughs> uh, not that way. Maybe, yeah, something like that. <laughs> Then it's got this gasket that goes underneath it, I believe. I may have to glue that on. I'm not sure, but we'll see. I got the cleanable air filter. Um, they do have one uh, that you just replace, and it's a little bit cheaper. But uh, I went with the cleanable. I always like the cleanables. Grab a gasket for the... Uh, tube in there not sure where this one goes more than likely right there if you can see it's pretty self-explanatory i do have the instructions right there gasket for the mass sensor and some more nuts and bolts and doodads i am not sure what they are for yet but I'll get there. Two hose clamps. They set you up pretty good. But I'm going to start installing this. Alright. So the part number that I gave you off the box is not correct. Here's the real part number. And if you want to pause it, scan that QR code. And you can see the uh, installation of this air box. So this kit is for the 03 to 07 and a half 2500 and 3500 trucks with the 5.9. And I got the boot on there. With the clamps facing the correct way. For somebody else to take them on and off easily not hidden underneath you got to twist like a pretzel trying to get it out you got the tube secured in there it's pretty tight i suppose if i put some pressure on it i could probably pop it off but Got as tight as I possibly could. Pop this rubber ring in. It's really simple. So, yeah, I figured I'm going to have to wiggle her around to get her in there. So, I got to put you down again. All right. I got the box in. You kind of have to jiggle it around. It'll come too close to the hood and then it won't shut. But I gotta test it right now real quick. Yeah, it's on top of it. It does shut, but it does look like it's hitting. So, not sure, but I was going to put this on, 
I figured I'll leave it. More air the better, right? <laughs> but uh, I believe it's hitting. Looks like right here. But that's it. That's, that's as far down as it goes. Another deal. They got a, a stud in here for the stock airbox. And it was sitting down on top of here, the new one, raising it up, I don't know, half inch or more. Um, so I took this stud out and they supply it with an Allen, an Allen bolt <clears throat> that I put in there. It allows it to sit down on this corner about a half inch lower. So that's probably a good thing. And so you'll need an Allen screw set as well. All right. I ain't gonna lie. That is not easy to get on the tube. I got it on, it's not moving. I got it tightened down. But I can feel down below that it's not on all the way as far as the top. But there's no gap. I mean, this thing, it will not move. It won't come off. It's on there. But yeah, that ain't an easy task. Now, I'm gonna figure out this gasket and the plexiglass. All right, so I was trying to figure out how to get this seal on the plastic like they were showing. Seal comes like this. It's a sealed triangle. So what I had to do was run my knife, just the tip of my knife, inside there, all the way down. to open it up to get it around the edge of there. And voila. So I did have to cut a chunk off of it, but I'm going to wipe it down with some spirits or something. Try not to get it on the plastic because it will haze it but uh, I want the seal clean as possible so I'll try and be careful all right for the plastic they give you these screws and these kind of weird washers but they're concave so they fit these screws pretty good it's pretty self-explanatory I uh, ended up using water to wipe down the seal instead I, I didn't want to chance it then I got this gap here, so before I tighten it, I'm going to pull them tight. I should have done that on the straight edge, but dummy me, you know. Scratched. Okay, I'm going to try and pull this together before I tighten that nut. I'll be right back. Alright. She's done. Map sensor's back in. Everything's tight. I could not fix that. I should have just taken it off and then tightening this right there you can see that I cracked that son of a gun so don't over tighten these so if I got a leak there and there 
doesn't matter. I got two holes down there, but but it's it's in there. The plastic's dirty because my hands are dirty, but it's time for a test drive. No idiot lights on. I gotta take it for a test drive, see if I hear any odd noises. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stop here. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it, but uh, I can hear the turbo a lot more. I'm just easing on the throttle. I left that silencer ring in the turbo and it, it's still a lot louder with this intake. So I don't think we need to take that ring out. It was a pain in the butt anyway. All right, we're gonna get on the freeway. Our speed limit right here is 80 miles an hour. So I'm gonna go to 70. short video and then check out the difference As you can tell, there's a night and day difference between the two after putting this uh, S&B cold air intake on. I did leave the bottom off. That caps the bottom, but that uh, you could hear the you could hear the turbo whistling a lot louder with this kit and it being open like that. I didn't have to take the ring off. The silencer ring and the turbo but I'm afraid I don't normally drive like that uh, it's just when I'm passing and stuff like that towing the trailer but I think it's gonna help big time but uh 
yeah, driving like that is not good for it. I'm afraid uh, this stock transmission is going to give out pretty quick if I keep doing that. I need to uh, get a kit for the transmission and upgrade some of the parts inside the in the body of the transmission under the pan change filter and all that stuff uh, I'll be a later date I just can't afford it right now this air filter kit was also out of my price range but I got it anyway we're moving eight hours west we're going to uh, Le Center Washington so I just wanted to make sure that I could get the mileage better mileage tow better tow more weight you know it's easier on the truck and uh, hopefully the transmission holds up. Uh, SMB, I believe, did uh, an excellent job of this. It's it's pretty good. Uh, not sure it's worth all the money, but for anything comparable, it's about the same. Go ahead, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. Sure would appreciate it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good one.